you don't try to fix yourself, if you don't take responsibility for yourself, no one else would. No one else would. I need to stop depending on others to fix my issues. No one's gonna fix my issues for me. I was just so comfortable in my own sadness because I was like, I'm not gonna get better. I might as well be comfortable in it. Changing is really hard. Taking accountability is really hard. Fixing myself is this really scary thing because I, that means I have to take responsibility. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this journal entry, episode six, I'll be talking about why only you can fix yourself no one else can. I feel with this topic is just like you really have to just accept that you are responsible for yourself and you are accountable for everything you do, especially as an adult. And I think it's also just coming to the terms of the issues you have. Some of us, especially when we're younger, we don't really realize the issues that we have. And it might be due to your environment, you being constantly surrounded with the same people and you haven't, you know, branched out. And once you distance yourself from your old environment, you realize how everything was messed up and how you realize that you had a lot of traits that are really messed up. This is going to take some time to realize. Some people may have this mindset like, I just need to find the one. If I get this boyfriend, right? This boyfriend will always be there for me and I'll be great. And that's true. Having a good support system is always nice, but they cannot solve the issues for you. The issues that you have, you need to work through it. I had a phase, I was really fixated on my friends. And sometimes when I have these good friends, I get attached to them really quickly, which is a really bad thing. They'll just like envision our future together and everything. And once like we're not friends anymore, I just realized how I lost myself. Like, I don't know what I'm doing because I was just so fixated on them and doing things together that I, I, I don't know what I want to do. And I feel like a part of me was just just looking into the, it kind of distracts me from myself from my own issues right and in some ways i was kind of just looking for that someone to save me for those who don't know i've never dated in my 22 years of my life never fucking dated but i always envisioned this like idea oh my god if i do get a significant other i can become fixed i can be saved by this one person they will accept all my flaws they will accept me for me. why do i do that like why am i looking for someone to save me and it was not until like last year that I started to be like, okay, I really need to take accountability for myself. Especially when you don't know the issues you have. Oh, it's their fault. It's their fault. It's that person's fault. Yeah, sometimes like when you get into arguments with people, it's, it's honestly just their fault. They're a horrible human being. But sometimes you need to realize that you have your own faults too. And when you're realizing that I have flaws too, I made mistakes too, you take accountability for your actions and you realize your flaws. This takes time. This you're not gonna get it. This took me years to realize. I need to stop depending on others to fix my issues. No one's gonna fix my issues for me, especially as an adult. I need to take accountability for everything. You are not responsible for the things that happen to you as a defenseless child, okay? Don't blame yourself for that. It is not your fault. But as an adult, you are responsible for all of your actions. And yes, nobody asked for stupid trauma, right? Like I didn't ask for the traumatic shit that happened to me. but I need to take accountability for myself. I want to get better. I need to heal myself. I, I still have the flaws I have and I desperately want to fix it, but it's very, very hard. But I know that I want to change. Also, I want my friends to be able to tell me, communicate with me of if I did anything that bothered them. I want them to tell me and I'll be like, okay, understand. And maybe my first reaction may be like, I'll get defensive because I'll be like, oh my God, I didn't mean it like that. Like, but I need to learn that just because I made mistakes doesn't make me an automatic bad person. I need to take accountability of it instead of just defending myself because I feel like I defend myself super quick. It's because I don't want to seem like a bad person because I want to show that that wasn't my intention. But I need to accept the fact that yes, your intentions matter, but sometimes if I hurt someone, impact more, matters more than my intention. I need to be responsible of taking the first action of going to therapy. Harding was really scared of going to therapy because I didn't grow up in the environment where, where therapy was really talked about. So it was really weird for me to even think about going to therapy. An uh, incident with a friend that really triggered me to be like, okay, I get attached to people too quick. I get triggered too easily. I need to fix this because I, I hate my avoidant nature. Um, I want to get this fixed. And I've been in therapy for a year now. And at the beginning, it was very uncomfortable to do. But the thing is that you get out of your comfort zone in order to become comfortable. You need to step out of your comfort zone. The more therapy sessions you go, you get better. And for those of you guys who are like, oh, therapy is so expensive. For me, I looked into my insurance. Go on your insurance website. There should be like a mental health section provider and something that I started taking accountability for myself with that I'm accountable for my own happiness. I'm not gonna sit here and blame people being like, yeah, it was their fault. It was that person's fault for traumatizing me. But in reality, that person who hurt you may not ever, ever admit that they hurt you. Does that mean you can't get closure? No, you can get closure within yourself. And for me, I'm still not really over by a lot of these stuff that happened to me. I still have a lot of anger towards the people who hurt me as a child. And even now I still feel a lot of guilt, but I keep reminding myself that what happened to me as a kid is not my fault. I think about the things that happened to me as a kid. I'm like, as an adult right now, I would never do that to a child. I would never say shit like, you should die. You should have been dead and never validating my emotions as a child. Like that is a horrible thing to do. I was just so comfortable in my own sadness because I was like, I'm not gonna get better. I might as well be comfortable in it. Changing is really hard. Taking accountability is really hard. Fixing myself is this really scary thing because I, that means 
I have to take responsibility. If you don't try to fix yourself, if you don't take responsibility for yourself, no one else would. No one else would. Nobody's gonna come and save you. Nobody will. Because even if they try to come and save you, at the end, you need to save yourself. Because the traits that you have right now, you need to realize that those are problems and you need to get out of your comfort zone to become better. Because if you don't save yourself, no one else can. You need to process these really horrible emotions. And I know some of feeling these emotions, you know, led to mental breakdowns. I've been having a mental breakdown for. I've been having a lot of mental breakdowns here recently. That's not fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. Nobody asks to be traumatized, you know? Oh, I'm so thankful for going through so many traumatic experiences because of shape who I am. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I didn't ask to be traumatized. What we should say is probably the fact that I am thankful for the strength that I have to get through these awful awful experiences genuinely i'm thankful for myself and i just feel so bad for my younger self and something that i started doing is journaling the reason why i really recommend journaling is because you need to write down your emotions and to write down your emotions you need to think of what you need to write you need to actually write them down and sometimes i know like you have so much emotions right you can't write as fast as you can but it's okay take your time journaling can be exhausting because you need to face your emotions and you have to be honest with yourself sometimes you know we feel shameful of our emotions what you feel is what you feel once you write them down you see them on a piece of paper this is what i'm feeling now right why you feel that way I need to fix myself for the damages that was done to me by another person. And it's horrible, I know. It's horrible that you have to fix things you didn't even do. I didn't I didn't, I didn't traumatize myself. Somebody else did. And now I need to fix it. It's a really sucky thing, but I can't sit here and be like, it's their fault, it's their fault, it's their fault. It is their fault. Now you have these traits and sometimes you may hurt the people around you. And I don't want to hurt the people around you. I'm trying my best not to, but sometimes I get triggered, right? Sometimes my defense mechanism is just leaving, not communicating, giving the silent treatment, um, just not talking. And it's awful. Even now it's like, I still struggle with it and it's horrible and it's like <laughs> sorry <laughs> You need to realize that. You need to stop feeling shame for the things that make you happy. Nobody's gonna book the therapy appointment for you. You have to do it. Nobody's gonna process your emotions for you, babe. Nobody is going to sit here and be like, hey, you feel the X, Y, Z. We get into certain moods. It just feel like things are not gonna get better. So you sit in your bed. You're not doing anything to take care of yourself. It can be a whole fucking week that has happened to me before. I did not wanna try. I didn't wanna try anything. I didn't care. I have no motivation to do anything, but I realized I am the only one that can change myself. I'm the only one that can make myself feel better. When I realized that, I'm like, okay, I need to do things that makes myself feel better and yes it's very hard because sometimes just laying in your bed is just better like why do i need to try it's exhausting i don't want to do it but if you want to get better you have to try because if you don't make changes it's going to stay constant bad emotions and good emotions are all temporary everything is temporary so if you have bad moments those are temporary but you need to realize that you need to make the change change can be very small taking little steps it helps build your confidence oh i really care about my health and i need to buy good food i need to you know cook for myself oh i feel like i'm not strong enough that i need to work out nobody's gonna work out for me no one else can change your life besides yourself nobody is gonna do the task for you for you to become better no one no one's gonna do it for you babe like yeah we so easy if someone could just fix it for us but that's not the reality babe the reality is hard because the truth is if you are sad if you are going through these really negative emotions and you just feel like nothing's gonna get better and you just lay in your bed generally we just have to push ourselves we are the only ones that can make us feel better if you think your happiness depends on moving to a new place then you go do it you are the only one that can do it for yourself because nobody's gonna book the plane but take it for you nobody's gonna pack your bags and bring you there you have to do it i think something that you just have to realize is that you are capable of a lot of things you came this far clearly you are capable of a lot of things don't downplay your achievements as a child my achievements were very minimized they were not really celebrated even now like i don't really make big big celebrations for things so because you can do a lot of things you have the ability to fix yourself first of all you need to realize that no one's gonna save you besides yourself and second you need to realize that you have everything that you need to fix yourself and i realize because some people don't realize that they have the ability to fix themselves some people who are traumatized or they have these certain issues they they seek other people to fix them i feel like this is separate from the fact that enjoying other people's company having others company enjoy other company is a good thing but i'm talking about certain individuals who are just they want other people to fix the issues within them and that's never gonna happen the relationship is just gonna collapse due to issues that you have that you didn't face and that you expect other people to fix it for you they can help you but they cannot do everything for you you need to accept that you want to change and you want to become better and you are going to take the actions towards it if it generally you would know the actions that you need to take but you're just too scared to take them or because it's not normalized certain environment or you just feel like i can never do that that's weird who says you can't do them oh 
I want to wear the clothes they're wearing. I don't do my makeup like that. Okay, you need to put into work into it. You start taking care of yourself. Nobody's gonna take a shower for you. Nobody's gonna do your makeup for you. Nobody's gonna invest in the jewelries that you want. Oh, I wanna become better at certain hobbies that I really aspire to do. Then you need to do it. You need to practice. You're not gonna become automatically good at it. And yeah, you might become a little bit disappointed in yourself, but everything is a start. You need to start. You need to start no matter how shitty it is, no matter how bad you are at it. Truth is, you might just be shitty at it. You might be bad at it at the beginning, but if you don't start, you will never get there. You might be uncomfortable at, at, at the beginning, but once you keep doing it, you become better at it. The things that you want, you need to work towards it. Because if you don't put in actions for it, nobody's gonna do it, babe. Because at the end of the day, all we got is ourselves. I am responsible for my own life. I am responsible how my life turns out. If I don't chase my dreams, no one's gonna chase my dreams. If I don't like this, I need to stop doing the things that I dislike. Because no one's gonna stop me from doing the things I dislike. If you wanna get better, you have to put in the work. And I know, it's not easy. It's gonna be hard. It might take you years to realize. You might just feel really unhappy and sometimes you don't even know the reason why. I remember back in high school, I was really unhappy, but I didn't know the reason why. It took me years to realize. You need to fix up the pieces of things that you didn't even do to yourself. You didn't break yourself. Someone else did. And it's gonna take time to get there. But if you can take the first step, that is something. That's a very big step. Tiny, tiny steps and you work your way up. It's like a staircase. You can't just jump from this point to this point. You can jump from little points, right? You keep jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping. And when you're here, you don't even notice the progress you've made. Sometimes we don't look back, but sometimes we should look back. We go from here to here. That is crazy. But yeah, this is my journal entry episode six. Why only you can save yourself and one else can. These type of things take time. Progress is not linear. Sometimes you feel, oh, I'm feeling so great. I'm feeling working on myself. And sometimes you wake up and you feel like, oh, shit. You feel like nothing's gonna get better. And the shame and guilt and anger and just sadness just takes all over you. So when you have all these emotions, they overlap. They're, just, they're just everywhere. When you journal it down, you can break them down. You're like, okay, it's because of this, because of this, it's because of this. It helps you break it down into pieces. It makes it easier to understand, basically. For those of you guys who are in your healing journeys, I genuinely wish you guys the best. I'm in my healing journey as well, and I am also on the pursuit of my own happiness, and it's, it's hard. Know that you guys are not alone, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are going through the same thing you and I are going through, right? I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week, and I genuinely hope that the rest of the week will be very kind to you guys, because you guys deserve it. So yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon. Love you guys. Bye!